increasing costs, tighter regulations, loss of farmland. Along with environmental challenges like water scarcity, it means improving efficiencies in all aspects of agriculture is more important than ever. It's a challenge that drives Netafim Australia, a local manufacturer and service provider that specialises in efficient and effective precision irrigation. Population is increasing, uh, the availability of arable land globally is decreasing and water's the biggest limiting resource. So to do the most with what's available, you've got to do it as best as possible. So we believe, yeah, drip irrigation and the efficient use of irrigation to maximise profitability and production is the, is the way forward. Netafim invented drip irrigation and was established in Israel in 1965. Today the company is the global leader in precision irrigation through its development, manufacture and supply of drippers and drip lines for almost all crops and topographies, sprinklers, valves, filters and more. So it's imperative we're putting on that irrigation to the right amount of supply. Starman Webster, Australia's largest producer of walnuts, pecans, almonds and macadamias, utilises Netafim irrigation on its properties around Australia to help meet its sustainability objectives. We're very conscious on how we monitor water use in our orchards and the Netafim products allow us to apply exactly the right amount of water to the tree's requirements. So we're not overwatering, we're not creating runoff. Measured water use means wetlands and local wildlife on this property are also protected. Netafim innovations deliver consistent water quantities to each plant. It also utilises a process called fertigation, where fertiliser is mixed with the water delivered to the crop. Depending on the fertiliser applied, whether it's a nitrogen based or whether it's a blend, uh, the efficiencies that can be gained through fertigation are massive. It means we've got less machinery out in the paddocks. We're actually applying fertiliser directly under the trees. It certainly is a, is a very effective way to putting out certain products, so yeah, it works well for us. Significantly less fertiliser is required and the drip line eliminates environmental damage from runoff, leaching or loss of nitrogen to the atmosphere. Digital technology enables convenient online monitoring and operation of the irrigation systems. Netafim's hardware operates in sync with the data collected on the property. And those insights come from a range of different mediums. It could come from satellites or imagery, from soil moisture, from sensors on farm. I mean, the, the sole objective is to give greater insights into what that plant is actually requiring from a water or a fertiliser perspective. Yeah, 70, yeah, 76 PSI. We're the conduit between the production of really good insights or data uh, from a digital farming perspective and the application of that water on farm. Efficient water and fertiliser delivery is one thing, but Netafim also aims to reduce any ongoing environmental impacts. So we've got a recoil program which we implemented in the mid-2000s and that program is to go on farm and recoil drip line which has been uh, at the end of its life. This property alone has around 2,000 kilometres of drip line. Netafim works with several processors to help recycle a product. The used drip line behind me is headed to Adelaide. So this is where the old drip line ends up, being brought here to a recycling plant in Adelaide. It'll be unloaded off this truck, shredded and pelletised, and sent back to Netafim, who will use it to make more irrigation products. And in doing so, they close the loop, the life cycle of plastic. The process is carried out at a seven hectare facility run by Recycling Plastics Australia. RPA has been very clear with the market that we intend to participate in circular activity. We've provided Netafim an exclusivity arrangement with uh, Irrigation Pipe um, because they have presented themselves as serious players in the circular economy. The used drip lines are shredded twice and then washed twice, a process that separates any silicon from the plastic. It takes about an hour to move one tonne through each process before it emerges in its pelletised form. All plastics are going to have to have a sustainability story. If you use plastic to make a product, you will have to be able to use it again to make the next product in the next five to 10 years, otherwise you won't be able to use it. From here, 
Netafim turns the recycled plastic into new drip lines. It's exciting that the next generation of orchards that we establish might be utilising that product that, uh, that was once had on one of our existing orchards. So for us that's really exciting. If the farmer can do it smarter, focusing on increasing profitability, in increasing production with greater insights from a digital perspective, everybody wins.